Hey, it's me, Pikachu. Today, I'm going to show those people that want to do ROM hacks so people can review them how to make a ROM hack. Okay, so you don't do anything bad. First of all, you need the ROM and Lunar Magic. You can get the ROM anywhere, I can't tell you where. And Lunar Magic, you can get it at Fusoya's Den. This is Super Mario World. Okay. Simple enough. Let's start with something immensely basic. The overworld. First, let's clear it. Clearing the overworld. Still clearing. Oops. Save. Delete layer one. Delete sprite. Oh, this one can't be deleted easily. Okay. First of all, to edit layer 2, which is pretty much this part of the overworld. Basically all the landscape and stuff. You open right here to the 8x8 overworld tile selector. And you pretty much do whatever you feel like it. Um, yeah. Please wait. No, wait. Now I'll just build one right here. It's important to keep your ROM so that you keep your ROM hack appealing, that it doesn't look like a box. Otherwise, people might not want to like like it that much. I'm not gonna say play. Maybe people like box overworlds, where they just don't mind it. Still, it's not a good idea. So anyway, the whole video is not going to be me spending, wasting my time just building the overworld. Don't worry, I'm going to do more. Shit, what do I do here? Oh. Yeah, it's not gonna. The whole video is not gonna be me building the overworld. Well, pretty much it is. Maybe. Yeah, I'm just gonna copy here. Okay. I don't want to spend too much time on this, I have a limit. This might come out blocky, but I'm under a time limit, so it doesn't matter. You people making the ROM hacks aren't under a time limit. So it pretty much doesn't, does matter for you guys. There. Almost. Basic overworld. Nothing too special. A little blocky, but I'm pressed for time. Something you should also look for is important details. Like right here, you can barely even see it. 
but those parts are very important to fill up. See? Those edges. Okay, so then you just do whatever you want. I'm stealing from the events. Okay, you just move Mario here. Let's move the Smokey here. The Smokey. The house is right here. And there we go. You have your very own simple overworld, right? Wrong. Let me delete this first. To put in your own levels into the game, you open up the 16 by 16 overworld tile selector, and you have right here all your 16 by 16 tiles. In there. Once you've put in a tile, you can go right here, click on the level tile setting, or you could hold Alt and right click on them, and you could edit them, which is level 104. No event. Right, right, go right. If you want to edit what the tiles look like, you have this small space right here. Let me see if I can... Yeah. So let's say you make want to make it look like... I don't know, a, a fortress. There, it now looks like a fortress. Even though Mario won't let you see it. Let me go right there. Smoke. There, see? Simple. Nothing too complicated. After you've done that, press 9 and you can see the paths. Levels are indicated by octagons, and paths are indicated by rectangles, and such. So let's make a simple path. Boing. 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 And a level. Now let me edit the overworld, so it looks like it makes sense, there, and add another hole right here, and when you start up the game you'll be able to move there, I can't show you right now but I will be able to later. So that's pretty much basic overworld. Basic. Next up, I'm going to show you how to create events. Let's say this is a level. We're going to make it do event 0. Then you go to the event tile selector. Let's go to event 0. Let me just erase what all the what event zero really does. Okay, there are, there's no event zero. That's nice. Okay, event zero. It's crucial, crucial that you do this. That you put the events in the order that you want them to be. Right here. Put it right here, then right here, here again, okay, then we just put this right here. Where's the triangle, 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 where are you? I guess I'm gonna have to show you something else. Creating your own event tiles. 
Yup, the triangle's not here. This is a simple tile. All you have to do is copy here, right here. Get the triangle from the 8x8 selector, right here. There. And it should be right here, ready for you to use it. And then you just put it there. And pretty much that's it. Please wait. I'll be back.